Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning and welcome. My name is Nurse Richard, the Wax Wizard, and thanks for joining me. Uh, two ears in this uh, this video. Quite interesting, this first one, um, have a look at this. This lady actually came to see me about three, four weeks ago. And then before that, it, she, she went to see somebody else again three or four weeks ago and had this kind of like thick, purulent discharge um, at the bottom of her ear. And I removed it uh, three, four weeks ago all looked okay but clearly there's a problem here that's not resolving itself that we need to get checked out so most likely causes an infection because there was kind of a slimy discharge a bit purulent a bit mucusy um surrounding this plug so chances are there's an infection there that's that has been treated by this lady's doctor um i've left a bit on there i'll, I'll come to that in a minute has been treated by this patient's doctor but clearly it's not responding uh, to the treatment um, it's not working, it's not getting rid of the infection. So we removed the plug so she could hear again perfectly well. But the reason why I left a little bit on there, A, it was a little bit dangerous because it was literally a very thin um, film of mucus on the eardrum. Um, but to get the right treatment, we need to take a swab. Uh, so we need, need her to grow a little bit more again. Uh, so we can take a swab of it. I've sent it to a doctor to go and pick up a swab. A swab and then I'll take a swab of that, it'll get sent to the laboratory and then we'll find out exactly what type of infection it is, if it is an infection, but I suspect it is. Because um, she has had a history of these for, for, for quite a while, she's had some fungal infections in the past. You can get some that don't respond too well to treatment because there's a particular type of strain of antibiotic that it may need. Um, there is actually one called Pseudomonas, which is quite unusual. Uh, it can get a bit of a green tinge to it. Now there was a bit of a yellowy green tinge to it there. I don't know if it's that or not. Um, I'll keep you updated anyway. If I do hear what type of infection it was and if we manage to get the right treatment to, to stop that discharge building back up again. Um, but yeah, I, I will keep posted. Um, now, the second one here is quite different. Uh, as you can see, it's this horrible, sticky, um, more like wallpaper pasty type consistency. Try and stay away from the food analogies. <laughs> it puts a lot of you off. Everyone in medicine compares things to food, don't they? Um, it's like, oh, it's the size of an orange, the size of a grapefruit, the size of a, <laughs> size of a pea. I don't know why. It, it makes it more uh, easier to visualise for somebody. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll call this a thick wallpaper paste. Uh, oh, silly putty Play-Doh, that consistency. Now, I was tempted at this point to get some oil in at this stage, but then again, it was moving a little bit and I could see the whole thing moving, but the tube was blocking a little bit. Because um, I do get quite a lot of comments here and there saying, why didn't you use oil at that point? Why didn't you get that tool in at that point? It'll cut this like a knife through butter with this stuff. There's absolutely no point with tools here. Um, but the oil, you have to weigh up the pros and cons of putting oil in. Um, now, it can make visibility very difficult gets all over the hairs and you're forever coming in and out and cleaning the endoscope um, <clears throat> so that can be a bit of a faff and if it's coming out if it takes half a minute longer to get it out without it then do you know what I mean we, why wouldn't you carry on um, <clears throat> it is it's still at the end of the day where we do run a business as well so uh, there is a cost involved you have to buy each bottle in it. and um, I used to teach infection control um, in my last job as a nurse <clears throat> Excuse me. And so every time you use that particular bottle, um, infection control would, would dictate that you have to give that to the patient or, or, dis or throw it away. Bit of a waste, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, the cost involved in all as well. And if it costs, you know, a few quid and all, all you've saved is 10, 20 seconds, is it worth it? You know, these are all things that you have to think about. So we do put thought into why we do things and when we do things, you know, and you have to take a lot of things into consideration. But as you can see, uh, I've clearly decided that yes, this does need some oil to get it out. And again, you'll see it looks a bit visually different as well. You can see the entirety of the ear canal and that's because um, I've got the patient to hold his ear. You actually do it from behind your head like that. So and you pull it up, it's like that. Somebody did point out the other day as well, I don't know if he's still doing it. Because I, I, I recall my videos from my desk now, I used to do it against the white wall um, at the other end of the clinic. And when you do the cutout feature which removes the background, uh, you don't get any problems. But 
I believe when I say the turn that way or that way, you'll see at the side of my glasses, I can't see it's doing it now. Um, you kind of get this funny blurring images. <laughs> um, there's nothing I can do about that. It, it is what it is, but somebody did point it out the other day. But yeah, that's why it does it, because it removes the background behind me now. It's like a, a, a black floral wallpaper. And yeah, it cuts bits of it out, but bits of it you'll see coming through my glasses on that side or on that side. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I thought my voice was better now, but it's clearly not. Oops, sorry, the phone's going. I can leave a message. So this is needing a right good jiggle to get it out at the very end. And there I'm uh, shaking it like a Polaroid picture. I was shaking it up, baby. I'm showing me eggs there now. Most other people, when you're talking about shaking, you do, it'd be like Taylor Swift song, won't it? Did it shake it off? I don't know if it's there or not. Leave a message. <laughs> so we could all get the, get the get the gist of it if you just uh, if you don't answer it. Uh, but yeah, have a look at the size of this. Fair old chunk that's come out of there and a beautifully oh shiny, oh clear oh eardrum oh at the end of it. So there's a plug, and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, but for now, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.